This ought to be fun. Alright guys, let's get to this beginning because I know it's going to be boring, so let's go. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Did I tell you guys I was going to play this game? the liquid trail and find its source. Let's do it. But not before I pass out. Nope, nope. God, every time I see one of those mannequin things, I think it's one of the guys, and I freak out.
Ah, it's well lit. I like that. I don't like that. Don't like that. Where's the light? playing this game. Close the motherfucking door. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel.
That's just sick, actually. Alright. When they give you the hint to run, that's not... Oh, that's That just scares the crap out of you. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Crap. Oh, damn it. Lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are, are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. third attempt to produce artificial vitae. I don't even know. Sorry guys. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I am close. Calmine and orpiment 
are given to the culprit binds that them. Robert will yell at me for all these words, by the way, so. This time I will attempt Aqua Regina instead of Aqua Fortis and hope it will produce an even more solution. A more even solution. The experiment was uns unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic and proves impartial to put to any use except for as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violent violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I, I'm losing hope that I'll find an alchemic solution to my predicament. How can... Damn white screen. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be going. Wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than yours. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint. Where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. terrify the shit out of you even when there's nothing to be afraid of because I know at the beginning that there's really nothing I still get the shit scared out of me Sixteenth of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum.
perfect spider web. Rare books, but I want to collect them. You realize I make fun of all this just because I need something to keep my mind off of the scariness. Close the motherfucking door. Close the motherfucking door. Light the motherfucking candle. Ah, tinderbox. A note. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will re maybe be designed for a total of three year three years when my freedom shall return to me. Will reign. Wow, I can't read. This contact will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of, of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Greenwich. Gerich. Study. Let's see what they're studying. Horrible noises. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Who's playing the piano?
the fuck was that? Everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. again. light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Yeah, not the geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Too careful, Daniel.
Another region rich with lore is Astrel. Aster, I don't know. Deep within the eastern Prussian woods for centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, ca and its neighbor Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque as can be. Albert, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any locals and, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation, since it will certainly serve as, ex as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are just some motifs that keep reappearing. Uh, God damn it. Not to read. Holy crap. You know what? If you want to read it, pause it. There. I think it's just stories, anyways. Alright, let's find us some books. Hmm. Alright, there's, the, there's one book. book I can pull out apparently. There's another book. And then there's the third. Alright, let's do this. Wilhelm and his fools have been endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to further to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they cannot rot. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I, w maybe I'll be, f maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Hmm. Oh shit. I completely forgot about all of this crap. Set shot!
Oh, that's not the wine cellar. Guys, I think this is the goodest diving point as ever. Uh, we'll see how I react to the wine cellar.